What is wireless HDMI? Where would you use it? And what should you look for when searching for a wireless HDMI solution? We'll go over all of that in today's video. Well, first of all, let's start with what is HDMI? HDMI is a high definition media interface. And that's the interface that allows you to transfer audio and video from a source like a Blu-ray player, a computer, to something like a TV or a projector. Now, wireless HDMI allows you to do that without the cable. So an HDMI cable like this allows you to connect that source and viewing device. Now, let's say you don't want this in the way. Maybe you don't want a wire dangling down your wall. You don't want to break through your wall to you know, hide cables to get down to your cable box and Blu-ray player. Well, there is another option and that is wireless HDMI. And that will allow you to use something like, you know, this transmitter stick to transmit, let's say from a Blu-ray player to this receiver that's hooked up to your television. And basically this replaces that HDMI cable because that signal is traveling from here to here wirelessly. Now there are a number of scenarios where a wireless HDMI solution can be super beneficial to you. Now one can be as simple as you have, let's say, a mounted television and you don't want wires dangling down your wall or perhaps you don't want to break through the wall to hide those wires to have that clean setup. You're able to transmit to that television, whether it's from your media console right below or from across the room so you could keep all those components out of sight but still have all of that content streaming directly to your television. So another example of where you could use this would be, let's say in a conference room where you wanna stream you know, your laptop presentation to a conference room. And the big difference with this technology versus let's say other streaming devices is this does not require Wi-Fi or an internet connection whatsoever. It just streams directly from A to B. So there are a number of advantages to that. You don't have to connect to you know, particular networks if you're at someone else's office. You don't have to worry about security threats with connecting your computer to um, you know, other systems that are foreign to you. So it really helps you, you know, present everything that's on your laptop, but without worrying about other things kind of connecting to that system. Well, let's talk about some of the things that are considerations when looking for a wireless HDMI solution. Now, the first would be latency. So latency, or sometimes referred to as lag, is basically the amount of time it takes from you know, a, a audio and video signal to go from the device to the screen. Latency is typically expressed in milliseconds. So anything slower than 100 milliseconds, that's considered low latency. Anything less than 10 milliseconds is considered no latency, as that's imperceptible to the human eye. And there's a lot of applications where that is relevant, and the biggest one would be gaming. You wanna make sure that that is happening in real time so you could respond to your controls you know, with exactly what is happening on the screen. Now, there are other applications where latency is less relevant. So let's say you are streaming from a Blu-ray player to your television. That doesn't have to be in real time. It's just whatever you're seeing is when it was transmitted to the screen. And all the audio and video is in sync, so you're just watching away while your Blu-ray player is on the other side of the room. Audio and video compression is another major consideration when looking at different wireless HDMI solutions. So what is compression? Now, essentially any raw video that's captured takes up a lot of space. You know, you'll have a raw video file that could be gigabytes upon gigabytes. And to be able to consume that, that would take up either a lot of physical disk space or a lot of bandwidth. Now to solve the issue of these overly big files, video formats are compressed by codecs, which are compressors decompressors. And these are essentially algorithms that help to reduce that file size without sacrificing or minimally sacrificing the video and audio quality. Now these are done really for any media format that you consume. You know, Netflix will do this, a Blu-ray disc will do this. Now these compression decompression algorithms basically shrink down the file size to where the files are a little bit more manageable for storage and streaming, but they still maintain really great audio and video quality. Now where that's applicable to wireless HDMI is not all solutions are made the same. So some do introduce compression when they are transmitting from transmitter to receiver, while others are compression free, such as the Aries line of products. 
And where that is important is you're getting the exact video as kind of produced by that Blu-ray disc or that streaming. You're not getting any additional artifacts or pixelation introduced by other types of compression. Now resolution refers to the number of pixels in an image. It's traditionally measured by width and height. Take a standard definition television, for example. The video resolution for SD video is 720 pixels wide by 480 pixels tall. And that is the resolution you will see on, let's say, DVDs. The next step up is 720p HD, which is 1280 by 720 pixels, followed by 1080p HD at 1920 by 1080 pixels. These sizes are considered HD. The next step up is 4K. 4K comes in a couple of flavors. It refers to video with an approximate horizontal resolution of about 4,000 pixels. For TV and consumer media, the standard is 4K UHD or Ultra HD, which is 3840 by 2160. The movie industry uses a wider 4096 by 2160, also referred to as DCI 4K. Formats with higher resolutions do exist. Some TVs are able to display 8K, and while these are still rare, some professional cameras have begun shooting 8K. And this is usually done so it can be scaled down into a more detailed 4K image. Another consideration that will really impact kind of the price point that you look at and what performance you will need from a product is the wireless range. And that will depend heavily on your specific use case scenario. So all of the sort of wireless solutions have different range options and they kind of can go from you know, 30 feet to hundreds of feet. Let's say you were streaming your laptop just within your living room or a conference room. Well, with that, you might only need something that is say good for you know, 30 feet. Other solutions, perhaps you are streaming to another television in the house or to kind of the front of your business or you know, your storefront. You wanna have greater range so that you, know, you have that maximum signal strength to get there and look fantastic. The other consideration to wireless range is obstacles. So when you have things like floors and walls in the way, let's say you're setting up a system throughout your house going through multiple floors, well, that will reduce you know, what that wireless range is capable of. And you may see a disclaimer that says line of sight. Well, what does line of sight mean? That really is when the transmitter and receiver are in visual range with no obstructions in the way. And that's when you're gonna get the maximum performance from that product. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and click the card to see more ways that you can use wireless HDMI.